Hello everyone. Welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tuesday, September 26, 2023. Charlotte scares Valentine, Sam and Sasha catch Gladys, and Carly finds out how Drew's operation went. Carly waits at the hospital as Liz phones for an update on Drew. Elizabeth assures her that the doctor treating Drew is the greatest in the field. As Liz looks on, Finn drags Jake away. Carly requests that Liz explain the surgery again, but she still doesn't understand. Carly asks where Dr. Gatton Holt is, then shakes her head when Ava enters to speak with Nina. Carly walks over, and when Ava says she's sad to hear about Drew, she's skeptical. You're not really surprised, are you, Ava? She then tells her to stop acting. Carly can't believe she put her trust in Ava. She believes Ava was involved in the hit. Austin isn't working today, and Ava is the only one who knows what's going on. Drew shouldn't even be in Pentonville, she shouts, and Ava snaps. Damn it, Carly, I'm not the one who put him there. Nina becomes uneasy. Sonny joins Anna in the chapel, admitting that the life he chose was not worth it. Sonny tells Anna that when she asked him previously, he didn't have any regrets, but Curtis is in a wheelchair because of him, and Drew is battling for his life because of him. This is Pentonville's Sonny. Prisoners will instigate fights for a variety of reasons. Sonny then informs her that he issued an order ensuring Drew's safety in Pentonville, and that someone disregarded it. This would not have happened five years ago. Anna agrees, adding that things are affecting her more than they used to. It just feels like things are spiraling out of control, Sonny laments. Anna comprehends. What are we going to do? Do you want to throw in the towel? Sonny responds, never. They continue to fight. Sonny leaves to check on Carly after Anna requests it. Sonny enters as Carly is yelling at Ava and demanding to know what she's up to. Carly is certain Ava did it. Carly, however, is incorrect, according to Sonny. He's certain Ava didn't tell anyone. I don't know, Carly says as she walks away. I'm not sure. Finn walks Jake inside the office and pledges to call Drew to find out what's going on. He calls Jake and informs him that his uncle is in surgery, but he is in excellent hands. Jake claims he shouldn't have sobbed, but Finn assures him that there's nothing wrong with that. He, too, has cried when he received horrible news about someone he cared about. Jake begins to crumble once more. Jake tells Finn how he found out about Drew just as Liz walks in. She overhears Finn telling Jake that he can talk to him at any time. Jake then sobs at his father's death, Franco's death, Cameron's departure, Finn's departure, and now, Finn promises he's not leaving. Liz enters at this point. She has a thought. Charlotte tells Valentine that she loves the new place, but when she mentions how much she appreciates the decorating and wonders who did it, she chuckles and says, I know it wasn't Anna. It's not her style, she says, but it's beautiful. It's a lot cozier than Windermere ever was. Valentin says it's great because she can bring her buddies like Jake. He attempts to read her, but Charlotte wants to go see her room. Valentin reflects with concern on Nana's decision to allow her stay the night. Charlotte reappears and declares that she adores her new room. The decorator did an excellent job. Valentin then brings up the possibility of Anna moving in, given that her house was destroyed and she is now homeless. Valentine is interrupted by a phone call from Uncle Marty and walks away, leaving Charlotte to reflect about the letter she received with the cards. Anna Devane is not who she appears to be. Do not put your trust in her. Valentine returns, and Charlotte hopes to see Uncle Martin and her mother soon. Valentine wonders how Charlotte will react if Anna moves in. However, I must know, if Anna's presence would make you happy. She requires this information for the reading, the card reading. Valentin recalls everything that has happened to Anna, the murderer, the arson, the mirror message, everything. And he closes with Nina and him staring at camera footage, stunned that they had discovered Charlotte. Sam and Sasha are enjoying the weather when Sasha expresses concern that if this doesn't work, Cody might never be free again. Sam encourages her to believe Dante, 
but this does not make Sasha feel any better. It's okay, they'll prove Dr. Montague and Gladys will both pay when they establish a legal record. Sasha is perplexed as to why Cody is so determined to protect her. Maybe he thinks you're worth it. They were getting along oak until Sasha stabbed him. They discuss the medications and her delusions, but Sasha still doesn't understand why he's risking everything for her. Sam has been trying to figure out what Cody's issue is since he arrived, but she has decided to trust him. After all, she has a colorful past as well. Sasha then expresses her gratitude to Sam for taking the risk. Sam dismisses it, saying that they're all just trying to do the right thing. She receives a text and turns to face Sasha. Now. Cody walks inside the PCPD and declares proudly, Here I am. I give up. Chase assaults Cody and wants to know where Sasha is, but Dante advises him to simply book the suspect. Chase then slats handcuffs on Cody and tells him his rights. Dante recommends they go into the interrogation room after he's been booked, then tells Chase he's no longer needed. Cody shrugs as he walks away. Blakey's comes into the police station, asking to know where her daughter-in-law is and if her kidnapper has been apprehended. She tells Chase that she wants to see Sasha's kidnapper as Cody and Dante listen in. Gladys makes a great deal about her concern for Sasha, then asks to speak with the commissioner. Cody must pay Cody is fuming in the questioning room about her performance. He is eager to testify against her, but Dante advises him to be patient. Gladys receives a phone call outside. It's Sam, posing as a bank employee inquiring about Sasha's accounts. Gladys is perplexed. She simply paid Sasha's bills and handled her finances. Banker Sam informs her that the DA's office has issued a sapona for all of Sasha's banking records. They're going to hand over the documents today. Sam crosses her fingers as they hang up. In the final moments of the show, Anna departs as Finn, Liz, and Jake arrive and enter. Finn checks in on Anna and discusses how much poor Jake has been through. Anna is attempting to clear her mind, and Finn admits she, too, has gone through a lot. He tried phoning her, but she never returned his call. It's okay, though. She's been through a lot, and she has people who care about her. But he's also her pal. Inside, Jake is at a loss for what to do, but Liz assures him that he's not required to do anything. If you want, you can light a candle for Drew. Then they should think positively about Drew surviving his procedure. Sonny asks if he can buy Carly anything in the waiting room, but she declines. Simply leave her alone. Drew is in jail because of her. Sonny walks over to Nina and Ava and introduces himself as Carly. When she is worried, she lashes out. The three people watch as a doctor approaches Carly. Sonny returns and sits next to her as she slumps. Oh my God, Nina exclaims. When they arrive, Sonny informs them that Drew survived surgery and will be oak. Everyone, including Carly, apologizes for attacking Ava. Nina looks at her as she begs to speak with Sonny alone. Thank you for being here, she says to Sonny. Thank you very much. Drew will be fine, according to Finn and Liz. Elizabeth embraces Jake, and Finn comes in to see them. The two adults exchange a friendly smile. Ava says over by the desk that what Carly did is nothing compared to what she'll do to Nina if she discovers she put Drew in jail. Valentin inquires as to where Charlotte obtained the cards. She claims they were given to her by a girl at camp. The scene then shifts back to Victor reading a letter. He handed them to her because they're strong weapons. They'll be useful to you. As Valentin stares at them, she lays out a spread. Chase asks how Cody is doing at the precinct, as Bladies is trying to flee in a panic and gets a knock on her door. Sasha here. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.